we're looking at the top 30 amazing features of the Aptera, including new Delta updates recently dropped regarding the air vents, what to expect for the add-on solar port, and even some new warranty info. More on that later on, but first up is the Aptera app. The main feature is using your phone as the key. Also look out for over-the-air updates to heat up or cool down the vehicle remotely directly from the app. The RFID card. The vehicle will come with a physical RFID card that can be used to unlock the vehicle. Just place it against the logo and the door automatically unlocks and opens. In fact, there are three confirmed ways to unlock the vehicle. The RFID card, the Aptera app, and through the phone's Bluetooth connection. Also, the vehicle will detect when you've exited and automatically lock. Additionally, you can use Bluetooth on your phone to play music in Aptera. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay will not be available at the initial launch, but are planned as over-the-air updates. Interior Ports The latest info is that there will be at least three interior ports, one 12 volt outlet, and two USB ports. Next up is Storage Space. This is how much trunk space the average mid-size sedan has, and this is how much a Tesla Model 3 has, and this is how much is on an Aptera, which is 41% larger than the Model 3. Interchangeable Center Console Elements Aptera is opening its vehicle design and is encouraging aftermarket customization, including the three elements of the center console. Whether you want extra cup holders, different cup holders altogether, extra or specialized storage compartments, wireless charging, or just to create a total custom look, the aftermarket has your back. A document pouch, or what the chief of design has called the soft glove box, will be integrated into the dash. So there's no standard glove box, just a simple pouch to hold documents. Then there's the cubby areas directly behind both seats. Yep, that'll be storage with enough room for a bag or purse. We should see more of this on Delta. Pre-ordering the Aptera? Please use the link below to save $30 on the $100 deposit. The cargo net. Aptera will offer a cargo net to separate the passengers from the rear storage along with tie-down hooks. There will also be aftermarket options available to keep you safe from loose items in the trunk. Speaking of safety, there are front airbags for the driver and passenger. As far as side airbags go, this is still an open question. Here are the results of our community poll. Safety Pilot will be over-the-air upgradable for $1,300. It includes lane keep, adaptive cruise control, emergency braking, and facial tracking. All Aptera are shipped with required hardware, i.e. cameras, sensors, and the computing power necessary for the over-the-air upgrade, so you can always opt in later on. Heated seats are planned for Aptera. While the company has already created a working cooled seat prototype, it will not be included in the initial launch since it is much more difficult to implement. Also, seat comfort. Sure, the seats are designed to be super lightweight, strong, and safe, but not without sacrificing comfort or style. The two programmable scroll wheels on the yoke offer full customization. The default use case is volume up and down and skip track, but they can be reprogrammed to something else like controlling the HVAC system's temperature and fan speed. What would you use them for by default? Comment below and don't forget to like the video, it really helps the channel. A cutting edge and feature rich user interface. The entire vehicle is controlled from the center display in a very streamlined experience. There is a ton of software development going into showing your efficiency and helping you maximize it. And the user experience only gets better over time since over the air updates will be a thing. Front and rear protection. The nose cone and tail cone are made of impact-resistant plastic and have a similar approach to bumpers of a traditional car. Strong wheel pants. The wheel pants are incredibly rigid and designed to be one of the strongest parts of the vehicle. They include impact-resilient foam. Ease of changing tires. The front wheel pants are designed to be removed in just 30 seconds. The rear wheel skirt is designed to be removed in a few minutes. Aptera has jacking points, and once a wheel pan is removed, it's just like changing a normal tire, because it is a normal tire. Five external cameras. One on the front, one on either side that constantly feeds into the side visibility screens, and two in the rear, a normal and wide angle 
that will feed into the rear visibility screen. With the visibility system, you just get a much better experience than with traditional mirrors. Speaking of which, Aptera has removable side mirrors. The side mirrors are only included due to US regulations. However, they are designed to be easily removed, which will make the vehicle 1 to 1.5% more efficient. Remove at your own risk. A single windshield wiper. Keep in mind that rain, snow, and air for that matter will mostly flow right over the windshield due to laminar flow from the vehicle's uber aerodynamic shape. When the blade is not in use, it's positioned within the cowl so there's no drag. A durable vinyl wrap. Like a supercar, the vehicle will come with a durable vinyl wrap rather than traditional paint. The reason for applying a vinyl film is that it's much more environmentally friendly than a paint shop and much less capital intensive. Aptera has said the wrap is expected to last 5 to 10 years under extreme UV conditions with the exact warranty details being announced at a later date. Killer Suspension First person accounts of riding around in beta is that the suspension is finely tuned and has the dynamics of a lightweight sports car, though these dynamics will continue to evolve with Delta. In addition to a robust front suspension, a sway bar is integrated into the front of the vehicle to prevent body lean. The rear suspension has a double trailing link which greatly improves ride quality. The end result? Aptera handles exceptionally well on acceleration deacceleration, corners, potholes, and speed bumps. UV tinting on the windows. Plus, you can always add more. Since Aptera is classified as an auto cycle, you don't have to worry about tint restrictions in most locations. Ultrasonic sensors for parking. There are parking sensors on the front of the wheel pants and on the rear of the vehicle so you can safely maneuver into a tight spot or next to a curb. The NAX connector. Aptera has officially announced it will be using the Tesla connector, now called the North American Charging Standard or NAX. Charging capabilities are 13 miles of range an hour when plugged into a standard 110 volt outlet or 150 miles overnight. And about 100 miles of range in 10 minutes on a DC fast charger. A state of the art energy dense battery. Aptera is pushing the technological limits on all areas of the vehicle. The battery is located in the belly pan. It will be long lasting and meet or exceed industry standards. Aptera has recently confirmed it will likely provide a 10 year warranty on the battery. There will be a solar connection port, most likely in the back of the vehicle to be used with a solar kit. At the fully charged live show in September, co-CEO Chris Anthony said a solar kit will add up to a kilowatt of solar power. We have recently learned that the official specifications and details will be announced with Delta. The Delta HVAC system is getting an upgrade. Let's break down all the vents and defrosters for Delta. First there's the center vent system along the top, bottom and sides of the screen that can be directed up, down, left or right. That one's also in gamma. But Delta will also have functional front defrost and side defrost. Then there's corner vents on either side of the dash and two footwell vents. In Gamma's testing so far, the vehicle is able to be cooled down or heated up very quickly thanks to the powerful yet efficient HVAC system. Please use the link below to save on an Aptera pre-order. Thank you and subscribe.